Oh yeah, it's got the Y6 plays of a little tabletop, uh, basically covering the new way that I'm grinding my blades as opposed to the way I was doing it beforehand. Um, you'll be aware that what I'm trying to do in terms of my blade grind is come up with a convex. Okay, now a convex is different than a scandy. So I've got an example of what a scandy is. So if you have a look at what a scandy typical blade looks like, it's a very simplistic grind. You've got a flat body and then the blade goes along thump like this and on this one Mora you will have very very terminal right at the end there's another little bevel right at the very edge of that to protect the Scandi okay now when I say protect the Scandi um, what that is is when the blade is ground into a into triangular shape the actual very edge okay if I was going to draw it the very edge I'm talking there when you look right at the, the tip of it we'll, we'll have a zero edge it goes to nothing okay now that is very sharp like a razor blade but will be prone to damage because it actually ends out molecularly you know very very fine edge very sharp but inherently easy to damage so by me trying to make here's a crude convex edge if the scandy was inside it you'll be getting that okay there's a scandy A convex would come up like this so not quite as sharp at the very edge but all this extra steel I think that's the easiest way I can explain it all this just makes the very tip stronger now when I'm showing you this here we're talking right at the tip right where that ink would be so a high performing edge is a Scandi but even someone like Mora would put a more robust terminal edge on there so it goes Scandi 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 let's say 16 degrees and then it'd have a 20 degree at the end right at the very tip boom like that to protect it and you still get your incredible more edge but it's inherently stronger than a true Scandi what I'm trying to do is do convex but I had some feedback on one of my blades now if you have a look at this one here the actual convex shape only starts here which is just under halfway from the top to the bottom okay get a bit of light on the subject okay so very similar to the proportions of what that is it's under halfway from there to there but he's only two mil thick my stuff's four mil thick so you can say I went up a little bit higher the feedback I got from Kylie was I need to lean it out so here's my next generation can you see that is over halfway okay so I've used my bevel blocks in a sort of stepped sequence to present it to my grinder boom 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 in steps you understand me so they're presented like that so that I should still have a good edge my old one
Okay, my new one. But it's a far, far leaner grind overall. So if I had that to start with, now I have that. So the performance should be higher. Now, at the moment, this one is a very successful blade. This is my Mantis. Okay, so that is a great little utility blade. And keeps cutting, keeps cutting, keeps cutting. Okay. And at four mil thick, it cuts comparatively well compared with something that's only two mil thick, like a Swiss Army knife. Also, I'm trying not to show my wife's address here. Oh, there's a Swiss Army knife, and you can see, yes, it's slightly better, but you ain't going to be battening through much with that, as you will with this. Okay? And you can see that that starts about there. So, that's my latest progression in terms of making my blade edges. Thanks to Kylie for his feedback on my thing. And you see that that you know the Westry is at least halfway up the blade. My old ones just under. My new ones just over halfway. So if I went any higher, I'd be losing my tang stamp, wouldn't I? Just in case I had a very small ricasso, I wouldn't have the room for it. So this way, I've got a big area I can whack my tang stamp in. And I'm not going to lose too much detail when I convex it. So, thanks for joining me. There's a big selection of my stuff here. And uh, see you on the next one. Happy New Year. Scott from Wessex Blade.